Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. My name is Amos from Symmetra Acoustics. Today what I have here are uh, acoustic panels, fabric wrapped acoustic panels. These are models of 2x4 or uh, 60 by 120 centimeters, which is uh, mostly the standard. So I'm here to show a few of my viewers how to build these kind of panels because a lot of uh, guys are not building in the right way. It could be uh, just a panel like this, but the performance is so low. So I'm here to show you how to build a high performance panel uh, using the following uh, spec specification. So number one, this panel uh, or any other acoustic panel, fabric wrapped acoustic panel, is uh, it has the following features. Number one, we have the structural part and the structural part include things like the framing and the shape that gives it the shape. Uh, then we have the second part which is the fabric that is wrapped uh, around the, the panel and then the third which is the most important is the core material which actually absorbs the sound so we have uh, uh, the core material inside here this is what absorbs the sound and that is actually the center of the, the whole panel so let's uh, dive into each uh, of the following features and uh, I'll explain to you uh, the, what you need to look out for uh, so that you can get a very professional acoustic panel so number one let's start with the, the, the fabric so the fabric that is used to wrap this kind of panel has to be very porous. Uh, by porous, I mean it has to uh, allow enough airflow into the panel. So it should not offer any air resistance because if you have air resistance, then you have minimal or limited uh, sound uh, passing through it, uh, and that compromises the performance of the of the panel. I see a lot of guys using the fabric like this one I'm holding here. So this fabric here you see uh, is a sofa fabric it's used in sofas. Uh, it's not recommended because if you look at it cleanly, you can see it has two layers. The first layer is the outer layer. Uh, that gives it the, the, the physical uh, appeal and then the second layer has another second layer uh, inside which for those making the, 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 the sofas is a good thing because it has strength but the problem is that it has very minimal airflow and when you have minimal airflow uh, as I mentioned earlier you get very low sound absorption passing uh, through the panel so you need to look for a very porous fabric uh, fabric uh, like this one here these are cotton fabric you can see it's textured they come in many colors so that's uh, a choice you can make uh, uh, at a personal level the second part we have the structural part and then the structural part is what gives this panel the shape so in, in most cases we would uh, we use hardwood or uh, aluminium if your budget is good you can use aluminium uh, but hardwood still works and you need to use a wood that is uh, very very strong so that this panel does not work work uh, like uh, warp or wiggle uh, with, with time due to environmental uh, issues or uh, factors so that is also something you need to take into account the uh, the framing of the panel the third thing which is the most important is the core material uh, core material is what actually absorbs the sound so let's dive into it so core material we have three main uh, materials that are very common we have any very many other materials but three major ones are raw cool uh, we have glass or fiberglass and then we have acoustic foam so when i talk acoustic foam i'm talking about open cell acoustic foam so there's this debate that foam is useless foam doesn't work uh, science does not view foam uh, in such a perspective because uh, if you look at the concept of sound absorption, uh, the, the term porosity is something that comes up very, very frequently. So let's differentiate uh, between acoustic foam and the regular foam because that is a question I get a lot because this foam, they look the same uh, from physical uh, perspective too. Uh, acoustic foam is different from uh, I mean the cushion in this manner. When we evaluate foam's uh, ability to absorb sound, there's something called PPI or post per inch and that means how many pores we have per square inch of acoustic foam so in most uh, uh, cushions ppi uh, is around uh, 20 to around 40 and uh, in acoustic foam we have ppi of around 70 to 90 so uh, professional acoustic foam should have a lot of uh, i mean uh, porosity in terms of uh, the ppi we need to have a lot of pores per square inch to get a good surface area for sound absorption so that's the main difference between acoustic foam and uh, the regular cushion things like fire rating are secondary uh, and subjective so uh, unless specified uh, acoustic foam most most of them are fire rated they could be class a class b or class c uh, so that is something also that is the makes the difference between the two so let's go to the, uh, the third one which is the the, the backing so we have uh, backing here is fabric uh, in most cases uh, that is to allow airflow to i mean sound to pass through it hit the wall that is if you leave the air behind it and then the sound will come back again so you kind of get double absorption uh, at, at free at, at, at free of charge without uh, i mean using extra cash which is uh, a good thing so you can see i have two panels here another one is this red one here so this red panel is equally the same as this one there's no difference at all uh, the only difference is that this is polyester fabric so for polyester fabric uh, i prefer it uh, because number one it has very low fire spread index so in situations or in areas where fire, fire control uh, or building codes specify certain materials to be used as finishing uh, for the walls then polyester is good because it, 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 it kind of resists fire it i'm not saying it doesn't burn but when it 
gets in contact with open flames, it does not spread fire very fast. So it has very low fire spread index. Uh, in uh, architectural roll acoustics, uh, it's preferred that the panels used in public, public spaces uh, should have some fire ratings. So this fabric has kind of uh, that that feature, which is very good. Another thing, this fabric is the the fact that it's very elastic. You can see. Even if you, you you stretch it, push exert a lot of pressure inside it, it does not like uh, leave creases like most uh, most most uh, most uh, 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 fabrics will. So this is a good panel. I uh, mean a good fabric because of that. So that's another feature that you can uh, also look into when you're building acoustic panels. So things like thickness now are secondary and they come uh, as you want to absorb more frequencies down the the frequency uh, spectrum. So that is where the things like thickness will come in. And in my next video. I'm going to explain to you or rather elaborate how you can get good absorption as you go deeper because not all materials uh, can absorb well as they go deeper. Denser material definitely will not absorb uh, uh, better when they are made deeper or thicker. So hope the video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share and subscribe.